What's well, up, Broskies? PC Gaming Excite here, showing you how to set up a Bucket 1.4.2 server or above. So, first off, what you're going to do is download Java JRE. So, go to this website in the description, click JRE Download, wait for it to load, and then download your Windows version. Make sure it's the EXE version and not the .tar.gz. I want to download the EXE. So, if you're on 64 bit, you want to download that one. If you're on 32 bit, you want to download that one. Don't know what version you're on, go to start, right click computer, go to properties, and 64 bit. Yours might say 32 bit, so that means you're on x86. So, what you want to do is just download those. I'm not going to download them because I've already got them. Next thing you want to download is the craft bucket. So, what you want to download is the version that says 1.4.2. If it's highlighted in green and says 1.4.2, download that one because that's recommended. If it's just if it's just normal like that, then it's development build, so I recommend you back up your world. So, what you're going to do is just click download. I'm not going to do it because, as you see, I already have it here on the desktop ready. Right, so next we're going to need this, and it, we're going to need it for a few things. So, first off, what we're going to do is create a new folder on your desktop, and we'll just call it server. I don't know, I've already got a new folder. Tutorial. What you're going to do is drag your craft bucket that you just downloaded into there. Open up the folder. Right click, rename it, and we will rename it to, just name it to craft bucket, like so. So, once you've got it renamed, what you want to do is go back to the wiki page, scroll down, and you should see this thing here called Java XMS Craft Bucket Jar 0 True. What you want to do is right click, new, full new text document sorry it doesn't matter about the name what you want to do is just open it then what you want to do is just copy the code into the bucket thing so right click copy paste then what you do is file save as so what you want to do is don't save it as a text document save it as anything dot bat if you don't have the dot bat then it's not going to work and then just click save you can see we have it there so now what you want to do is just double click your server and it should start to load. And then once it's loaded, just close it down. And your server is set up. Apparently it's crashed. Let's have a look. Probably because it's a development build. Uh, that's why I said back up your world, make sure it is backed up. As you see, reload it again and it loads up perfectly fine. So if you do get a thing that says crashed, then just you know, just restart the co just restart the thing like closing it, restart the server, and it should just load up just fine. Then what I do is type in stop, and your server is completed. And to prove you that I've set up a 1.4.2 server, I shall now reload the server and load up Minecraft. Minimize that. Wait for it to load. Log in. As you can see in the bottom corner, I'm on 1.4.2. What I do is just go to multiplayer, add a server, put in your uh, default uh, port number, or you can either put 25565 or local host. And just join it. As you can see, I've already got two there, which above mine. Join it, and as you can see, I'm in a nice server. Well, my server, that's all. So anyway guys, that is the tutorial, thank you for watching, um, there are, will be pre-made servers in the description, what you want to do is just open them with WinRAR, uh, download, well download them, open them with WinRAR, extract them to your desktop, and you should get a file in there called server 32 bit, or server 64 bit, and then what you want to do is just open up that folder and double click the dot bar and the server should load. So that is it guys, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.